right guys, so today I'm going to show you how to paint your shades. If you aren't done with your tints yet, go ahead and do that first. If you did not put two coats of black paint on your silhouette, um, I would save that and do that after you get your shades done. So everything you need should be in your bin, except for your bottle of paint, which you can come up and grab. So put your newspaper underneath. We, of course, will mix our paint on our wax paper. And then for shades, you obviously, instead of your color in white, you'll need your color in black. So this time, your color is going to be your slightly larger pile. And your black is going to be your smaller pile. You won't need as much paint as you did for your tints because a lot of your shades are going to end up going off the page. And then just like last time, a mixing brush and a painting brush. So if you remember, you always put the darker paint into the lighter paint whenever you are mixing. So I'm going to take a little bit of black and mix it into my color. And I can already tell a difference. I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not. A difference from that little tiny bit of black. My suggestion, start with a tiny bit of black paint. If you can't tell a difference, you can always add more, but once you make it too dark, it's really hard to go back. So I'm going to take my painting brush, see if I can tell a difference. I can, and I'm going to paint the layer outside of my regular color, this one. So if you remember, a lot of paint, one smooth direction, do both edges. Every time you need more paint, just re-dip. And then your middle goes really fast. Now make sure your shades are going to start to go off the page. So make sure you come up. I'm going to speed paint. All right. And you hit every single corner. So I have to do there. I'll fill in this entire area. I have to get this little guy there, this corner, and that's all. I'll be done with this corner after I do this first shade because there's only one there. And then I'll do it down here as well. Okay, you are going to paint neater than I do. Then, just like kind of we did with the tint, you're going to go back, add more black into your pile of paint, mix with the whole pile, Take your painting brush, clean it off, grab your new shade, make a little mark, see if you can tell a difference. I don't think I quite can, so I'm going to add a little bit more black. So add more black, clean off my brush again, grab it, see if I can tell a difference. Now I definitely can. So now I'm going to take this, same thing, I'm going to paint really nice and neat. I'm going to do this corner neat. You guys are going to do all of your corners neat. All right, and then I'll take this color. It'll go here. It'll go down here. I don't have anywhere to add it to on that side. Then I'm going to keep going. So more black. Mix it in. You can see this light blue, it almost turns like a grayish color when you add the black in. All right, clean off my brush, grab some of it, see if I can tell a difference. I can. Smooth it out. All right, this color would go up here. I would be done with this corner then. I don't have anywhere to put it over there. I'm going to put it down here. I'd be done with that corner. And then I just have my last shade is only going to go in that corner. And that's fine because remember, you didn't have to have even numbers on any side. So I'm going to add more black to it. Some people are like, well, Mrs. Zimler, can I just put plain black there? Um, I would still mix up a shade because if I go from that to plain black, it's going to be a pretty drastic jump. So I'm going to clean off my brush, take this really dark shade, but it's still not black. Put it down here. 
and then I am done with my shades. So you should be done with your tints, done with your shades. If you did not put two coats of black paint on this, you can go ahead and do that. You can just, if you have enough black paint here, you can just use that. If you need to squirt a new pile, you can. If you need to get new paint brushes to do this, you can. Um, and if you need to wait a little bit for this to dry before you do it, but you should be completely finished. Smooth paint lines, take your time, especially smooth on your silhouette. If you get done, this will go on the drying rack beside the paper cutter. Your brushes go in the dirty paintbrush bin. You may throw away your newspaper and your wax paper and your bin that has your paints in it and your bottle of paint will go back on the back countertop for me to clean when I come back. If you get done early, you may draw in your sketchbook, you may read a book, you may do an extreme dot to dot from my desk or you may do a coloring sheet from my desk. I will see you when I get back. I can't wait to see how they look.